All right, everyone, welcome back to the Morning Woodward Show here on the Woodward Sports Network. Thank you so much for joining us today on a beautiful Thursday morning. We are now joined by the president of the Motor City Cruise himself, Rob Murphy. Rob, thank you so much for joining the show. How are you doing today? I'm pretty good. Thanks for having me, guys. I, uh, I'm happy to be here. Absolutely. We're excited you're here. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're very excited you're here, and I'll, I'll get straight to it. I have a really interesting question for you. Obviously, you're a Detroit native. Uh, so far, really, not only the Motor City Cruise, but the Pistons have really been heavy on community efforts. Can you walk me through, really, the next three, six, 12 months of the Motor City Cruise, their efforts in the community, what you guys plan on doing to really uh, probably stamp your foot in the ground here in the city of Detroit? Yeah, well, I think for me, uh, it started back when I was hired. Uh, it's been really, really gratifying to get the community involved. It started with our partnership, obviously with UAW being our biggest partner and sponsor uh, for the Motor City Cruise. And then we went out and talked to uh, They Say Restaurant, um, uh, Duo Restaurant, Elite Education. All of those are uh, Detroit community-based uh, partners who have done a lot in the community and we were able to bring them on as a partner for the Motor City Cruise. Uh, but we'll continue to work with the local charities. Um, we have a, a great brand of basketball being the fifth professional sports uh, franchise here in Detroit. Uh, very affordable for we can get uh, people inside the building to watch the stars of tomorrow and continue to help grow the community as well and make them a huge part of it. Absolutely. Rob, I, I do want to touch on your opening night. <sighs> dominated, savingly, Luca Garza. I mean, it, it is a star-studded attraction, let's be honest. There's a few guys who, who could be playing in the NBA if they were in a different situation. So kind of walk us through the feeling in the building. You guys won your first game. It was a huge win. Really set the tone, hopefully, for a very successful year. But kind of the atmosphere, it's, it's really different. I haven't seen anything like this really since, I want to say, 2002, 2003 with the Pistons, where there was this kind of excitement and energy. And, and you're talking, you know, this is... This is a, the fifth now professional sport or yeah. professional sports team in Detroit. Yeah, the city's never really had anything like this. You yeah. can never really go out and, and watch the future. Right. Well, it's a, a unique opportunity for us. Uh, Tom Gore's in our leadership group. Arn Tellum, uh, Josh Bradlstein, Rick Adot, Rich Adot had uh, the foresight of, of bringing this third pillar here to Detroit, uh, and we're excited about it. Uh, you mentioned Luca. You mentioned Saban Lee and and a Jamarco Pickett in particular. Those are guys that play for the Pistons, uh, the G League, and the Motor City Crews in particular is to grow our young guys, to put them in position to be successful for us in the future. Uh, we're really fortunate to have those young guys, which started with the draft process uh, in 2020, and then it continued uh, this year uh, through 2021. Uh, our season opener uh, on the road in Cleveland, obviously the road is always tough, um, but we talk about mindset and approach. Um, and, and continuing to develop your game. And, and Saban Lee and Luca Garza both took that approach in our first game. Uh, and being in a situation where they'll play the bulk of the minutes, uh, they want to continue to improve. They also want to show, you know, everyone uh, that they deserve to play at the next level. So Saban took it among, amongst himself to, uh, to prepare himself mentally. Um, he came out and, and was on attack mode uh, each and every play. Uh, and he told me before the game, you know, Coach, I'm going to try to get a triple-double. Uh, he ended up with 42, 8, and 8. So it was a great <laughs> showing for him. I thought Luca Garza uh, led the charge, though, from start to finish, uh, from the locker room throughout the game and, and through all the practices. He just has a, a certain amount of energy about him. He's a great leader. Um, and that trickles down uh, to your entire roster. So we're excited ab about this year. We're excited to have Coach DJ Baker, who, who's done a tremendous job with him and his staff as well. Uh, so we have a lot of great things in place. Um, we have a lot of things set up for guys to grow in every aspect of their life, whether it's on the floor or in, uh, community efforts uh, in Detroit and the surrounding areas. Uh, so we're, we're excited about the Motor City Cruise. Well, thank you for joining us, Rob, number one. And uh, obviously Detroit native, former men's basketball coach, uh, coach at Eastern Michigan. Uh, but I'm super glad you're here so I can pick your brain a little bit. Uh, I want to talk about you and Troy Weaver, you know, your relationship. If I'm not mistaken, you've known each other for the last 20-something years, um, both assistants for Syracuse at Syracuse under Jim Boheim. But when did you start really realizing with, through your relationship with Troy Weaver, like his ability to just spot, recognize talent? Like when did that come to you and you start to be like, he gets it, this guy gets it? Uh, I think it was right away. Uh, when we met, we would talk basketball, uh, a lot about life as well. Um, but from the day I, I, I met him, and, and especially during my days at Syracuse, um, he got a lot of credit 
for uh, you know being the lead recruit and the person who recruited Carmelo Anthony, yeah. which led to a national championship. Uh, but we always talked about the surrounding pieces and why that championship happened. You know, the Quef Dwayne's, the Josh Paces, right. uh, the Keem Wargs. Uh, those were the important pieces as well. And it wasn't just Carmelo. And he always encouraged me, uh, you know, you're going out and recruiting, you know, the top tier guys, but make sure you can get some guys that can go around it as you're building a team out and helping Coach Bayheim continue to be successful. So right at that moment, I knew, uh, knew he got it. He went on to Utah and, and helped them get their franchise back on track. Um, they did a, a building process with the new, uh, you know, Oklahoma City Thunder franchise. And mm -hmm. he went through the same process uh, that we're going through now seen it through and they became a, a championship caliber level team uh, but you talk about the Durants and the Westbrooks um, but you still have to remember the, the players in between the Steven Adams the Andre Robersons and, and guys of that nature who of, of that nature who help you uh, continue to win games throughout an NBA season in the, in the playoff run trying to uh, get to a championship so uh, he gets it in all aspects uh, and really fortunate we met and uh, really fortunate he took a liking to me and wanted to mentor me and saw something in me and uh, we've been uh, pretty good friends and like brothers ever since awesome That's well awesome. Rob tonight is the big night yeah. season opener <laughs> well I should say season home opener yes. yep. at the new facility downtown at Wayne State's campus Sada Baby will be performing at halftime and I'll be honest social media is very deceiving obviously we can show what you want but my goodness the facility looks top notch it has to be the best facility in the country uh, or in terms of all the G League teams. Yes, for sure. I mean, um, we're really, really fortunate uh, to have a partnership with Wayne State, President Wilson and their athletic director, Rob. Uh, we were able to, uh, you know, have this partnership and to, to be able to play in this $30-plus million arena. Um, I think it's and will be or believe it will be the best in the G League. Um, we're opening tonight. We're extremely excited about it. Uh, I think it'll be close to being a sellout, um, but it has all the bells and whistles, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, lights outside, the two baskets uh, representing the crews in Wayne State with the basketball court out. Uh, so when you walk up, uh, that display is amazing. Uh, when you walk in, uh, not to give too much away, but it's uh, it's really a lot of bright lights and a lot of bells and whistles as you, uh, you know, walk into the entryway. And then... You know the court, and that's something I'm excited about. Excited about. I talk about our court sponsors, and we talked about it earlier. From UAW to they say, uh, with Terry Payne, uh, duo with Will Smith, and then Elite Education with Maurice Evans, uh, and obviously Henry Ford Health System is the lifeline who built our helped build our practice facility as well. So excited about the partners. Uh, excited about the locker room and, and how it's all come together. Uh, our VP, uh, LaRonda Burley, has done an unbelievable job, and the entire Motor City crew staff has worked countless number of hours um, over the past six months uh, to really bring this together, and I, I can't uh, thank them enough. Can't thank them enough. All right, Rob, one more question before we let you skate out of here. We know how busy you are. Mm -hmm. You guys open up home opener tonight against the Wisconsin Herd. Back-to-back -back games, actually, I believe mm -hmm. today and tomorrow. Uh, 7 o'clock uh, tip-off time. Expectations, really, for the future, and not in terms of maybe the win-loss results, but just, you know, development. What, what are you guys looking for in terms of how you can contribute, not just short-term success in the G League, but long-term? How are we going to send guys to the league and help really have them open up and see their future opportunities and have them fulfill their dreams of becoming NBA players? Well, you have to just, you know, encourage them to continue to work hard and continue to use this um, avenue to develop. Um, the G League is in place, and in particular the Motor City Crews for us, as I mentioned earlier, is to continue to develop you know, our young guys. This is a unique opportunity because we're in one building, which is our performance center, uh, and we're playing up the street. So it kind of makes it easier for guys uh, to work uh, within our system uh, and understand the symmetry and chemistry between both teams. I think Coach Casey and Coach Baker, with their communi continued communication, myself and Troy Weaver continuing to communicate and how we want to continue to, you know, whether it's tweak the roster, change the roster, and bring young guys in. Uh, I think we have a, a great situation for us to develop. And again, we can't thank, uh, you know, Tom Gores and our leadership team, Aaron Tellum, Josh Bartlestein. Uh, you know, Mike Zavosky and, and everybody for putting this uh, unique opportunity in place. Uh, we're excited about it. Uh, we're looking forward to a sellout. We're looking forward to Sada Baby performing tonight. Uh, and, and I'm just thankful to be in the position, being from the Motor City, being from Detroit, born and raised here all my life. Uh, this is a great and unique opportunity for myself as well. So I'm extremely thankful. 
Uh, and I'm looking forward to a great night tonight and ultimately a great season and everybody continues to improve uh, and get better. Well, thank you, Rob. We're really, we're really grateful for your type of leadership and really the leadership and community development that's been going on, I want to say, the last 14, 18 months with everything that's been happening in Detroit yeah. with the Pistons, with the Motor City crew. So thank you so much and, and all of your efforts. Uh, I do want to ask you one mm. more thing, if yeah. you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Regarding philosophy in terms of you know how the G League team translates to the NBA team, so the Pistons, Dwayne Casey has his model of coaching. Mm -hmm. Is that something that is mimicked or you know really pushed for in, at the G League level? Like, hey guys, this is the way we play up at the pros level. We really want to emulate this at the bottom level so these guys can come up maybe a little easier or is it strictly player development and the standpoint of fundamentals, getting the most out of them that they are? Is it a balance or is it strictly, this is how I coach, this is how you need to play, this is how we develop our players? No, we, we mimic the parent team for sure. Uh, you know, DJ Baker, our head coach, has been with Coach Casey over the past six seasons. The whole idea uh, was hiring him. I mean, very qualified coach, uh, you know, great communicator, great teacher. But we wanted the symmetry, and, I mean, the synergy and the, uh, the tech, uh, terminology uh, to be the same from the parent team to the Motor City crew. So we we have that in place. I teased, I teased uh, Coach Baker during training camp. And I said, you know, it, it doesn't look any different when I'm watching the Motor City crews practice. It looks like I'm watching the Pistons practice, uh, which is a good thing. Yeah. And then we have a great, uh, you know, individual instruction and player development um, plan in place for our guys to continue to develop. And it's all about, you know, you know, uh, progress uh, within the games. You know, sometimes you don't win on the scoreboard, but you take those baby steps. And as long as we continue to see progress uh, through each and every practice and through each and every game, uh, we, we say that we're doing a great job. Um, last night we had a big win, obviously, on the road. Uh, you know, K continues to get better. But I think our overall team is continuing to gel together. And you may not see it in the win and loss column, but we're continuing to get better. And it was exciting to see uh, us get that victory last night on the road. And, and it's a big week for us uh, talking Pistons now. But then we want to continue that uh, you know, same uh, type of theme here tonight for opening night. So we're excited about it, guys, and really excited. All right, well, Rob, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really, really loved having you on. We'd love to have you on anytime soon whenever you're available. Of course. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. The Motor City Crews open up tonight against the Wisconsin Herd, 7 p.m. down at Wayne State. Oh, my goodness. That facility is phenomenal. They play tonight and tomorrow. Get your tickets if you haven't already. Again, Rob Murphy, president of the Motor City Crews, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll see you.